it's only me, Claire Baker, former Clutterholic founder of ClutterClearing.net, uh, bringing you my weekly vlog video about my own clutter clearing journey that I'm on at the moment, which is my weight loss journey. It is a miserable day here today. Uh, it was really foggy earlier uh, when I woke up, uh, and it's dark and it's damp and it's just miserable. Um, I keep thinking, when am I going to be able to wear my proper summer clothes? <laughs> uh, I see friends who are going on holiday and they're putting uh, pictures on social media of, uh, of uh, them on the beach and out and in their summer things. And I feel like they're in a different time zone. It definitely feels like uh, uh, autumn uh, has come ridiculously early. Uh, fingers crossed it improves for the bank holiday weekend that's coming up. Uh, this weekend. Truly, truly uh, miserable. Uh, but and it does uh, affect my mood, definitely. So, uh, yes. But uh, fingers crossed it'll get better. It's only early. It's not nine o'clock in the morning yet. So hopefully it will uh, improve. So how's your week been? Uh, how have you got on? Uh, my week, uh, I put on less than a pound, 0.8 of a pound. <laughs> I love these new scales that are really accurate. Um, disappointed, of course. Um, I understand why premenstrual, and uh, that tends to be the time that I put it on. Uh, and I have had those carbs uh, uh, cravings this week, as is my uh, premenstrual pattern, if you like. Um, having set myself a goal of losing three and a quarter pounds each week. What that means is that this week I will need to lose, now I lost six, so that's half, so that's one and a half, so that's three and a quarter, four and a quarter, four and three quarter pounds. I will need to lose basically five pounds this coming week to stay on track, uh, to meet my goal of 195 pounds in two weeks time. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> when you put it like that, uh, it's interesting how my learning last week about how to keep myself motivated and to set myself goals, uh, and how last week I completely achieved uh, and surpassed my three and a quarter pound weekly target, but by having had a week where I uh, have put on a little bit, it means that that, that not, has a knock-on effect. Um, so yes, so this week I will, uh, if you like, have to be even better and even clearer. Um, what I will probably do is, uh, whereas Tuesdays and, Thurs Tuesdays and Thursdays are normal eating days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday are my fast days, what I will probably do uh, is have this week Thursday as an extra fast day, because that usually uh, does me good. Uh, and Thursday, I'm actually at my mother-in-law's. Um, we're going to see her on Thursday evening. Uh, I know she's doing salmon because she asked what we would like for dinner, so I said salmon, knowing that she likes salmon. She can eat it with the teeth, because <laughs> she doesn't have good teeth for chewing meat. Uh, and and the, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays would be uh, fast days as well. So given that I actually can't do a fast day on Thursday, maybe then I'll do an extra fast day on Saturday. Uh, that should be fine uh, for doing that. So again, pl this planning thing uh, is really quite important. Um, I am also aware that this week what might have contributed as well to my carb craving, um, and it wasn't like I was eating bread or, or potatoes or rice, all the things that are obvious carb. It was that I was choosing to eat the foods that I eat which are higher in carbs. So pork cocktail sausages, pretty much cut them out, <sighs> not this week, because um, they are actually quite high in, in carbs. Um, Skyer yogurt, <laughs> I never know how to pronounce that name. Ski, sky, skrrr, Icelandic yogurt. <laughs> That's really, really nice. Um, but again, if you eat the whole pot, it's quite high in carbs. Um, so yeah, so eating the right foods, just too much of them, uh, and not staying away from the ones that, that I've kind of cut out recently. So, um, uh, I am conscious as well though, as I have discovered in the past, but it's a useful reminder 
that uh, how you are feeling in yourself um, does affect your your motivation, if you like. Um, uh, I have been aware this week, feeling a little bit vulnerable, I suppose, because um, my husband has been diagnosed with um, a problem with his hand. He has he has a hand, and he is his little finger. He can't straighten it. Now we thought that that was because he'd broken his finger after a fall, falling off a ladder, um, many years ago. Gosh, it must be about seven, eight years ago now. Uh, but it turns out that it's not. It's it's a it's a problem with his tendons, and all that's going to happen is that his fingers uh, curl up like that, um, and that has a huge impact on what he does as his job. So it means that this week we've been having to do planning to figure out, okay, how are we gonna how are we gonna cope with this? Uh, having been in the same. Uh, um, game as, as, it, as it were, having, having done the same job for 37 years um, and essentially not being qualified or experienced to doing anything else. Uh, it is one of those things and, and he's 51. So um, it's, been, it's been a stressful week um, and uh, you know that, that uncertainty and again maybe that's had a knock on effect in that I haven't been um, I've, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, given into temptation more easily than I would otherwise. Um, so I need to be careful of that this week because we, we haven't uh, got a complete plan yet of how we're gonna overcome this hurdle. Um, but um, yeah, I just need to be conscious of that. 0.8 of a pound is, 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 is not a huge worry. It's less than a pound. I'm gonna think positive. Um, so yes, uh, a, a challenging week, but really nice to actually be properly well again after that flu, which knocked me out for three, nearly four weeks. Um, really nice to be back at the gym. Uh, really nice to be back swimming. Yesterday I went swimming in the morning and I went to the gym in the evening. I was going to go swimming this morning, but when I woke up, I was like, oh gosh, yes, I can feel the fact that I did two lots of exercise yesterday. Maybe not today. Um, so I think this week I'll go swimming in the morning, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, the same as I would go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, and build it up slowly. So anyway, so let's get to the five success factors that I always say, share. So feedback and learning. Um, I think I kind of just covered that really. Um, realizing that stress uh, uh, makes my temptation um, to overeat the right foods. Um, weakens my my ability to resist the temptation uh, feedback that going to the gym really does make me feel good now what was interesting as well is that we went to the gym last week three times and uh, my husband went on yes we went on Tuesday because um, my husband couldn't go on Monday so we went on Tuesday and he went in the gym and did a workout and I went swimming because I'd done a workout the, the day before uh, and he really didn't want to go and he didn't he would have been happy not to go on Wednesday, but what was amazing was that on Friday, he didn't want to leave the gym uh, and he did a little bit extra and he pushed himself and he really enjoyed it in the gym yesterday as well. So again, ha for him, he hadn't been to the gym for a month. Um, so again, it just proves that actually stick with it and then we'll get to a point where we do actually want to do this. So for me, the exercise and the eating plan, getting back to it after the flu, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back into my routine. Uh, which is which is important to me. Um, what else? What's the second one? Second one. Ooh. Time and patience. Yeah, this is going to take time. Um, I almost feel like this year is turning into one long plateau where other things are catching up. Um, I almost feel as well like the weather has had uh, a bigger effect. It's supposed to be summer. Yeah, this is not looking like summer. This is not feeling like summer. Uh, last year I did really well over the summer uh, and being able to wear summer clothes I think probably made a, a, a bigger impact, had a bigger effect on me than I thought. Um, so again, time frustrating, getting frustrated now. Uh, but need patience, need patience. 0.8 of a pound 
I'm not going to worry about it. Just be patient. I know I can lose this. Um, I need to get back into this routine for more than a week. Um, yeah. Oh, so frustrating. Um, next. Oh, doing the doing. Oops. So doing the doing. That for me, as always, is going to the gym and doing my swimming, which I'm doing tick, tick. Um, eating the right foods, tick. Um, planning my meals, uh, tick. So I am doing the right things. I am doing the doing. Um, I just uh, need to control the portion sizes. That's probably um, what's caused that slight game. Plus, of course, like I say, it's the hormones. It's that, that week in my month. That's fine. Hopefully it'll overcompensate as usual next week. Um, for the method, method works. I know the method works. Um, and my husband actually said to me this morning, because he's got a little bit of a stomach uh, forming again, and that's all down to diet and food. He's been told that that's his eating. There's no exercise that will get rid of a, a man stomach. So, um, so he's kind of recommitted to eating the way that I eat. Other things had slipped in, uh, eating bread, eating uh, crumpets, eating potatoes, all those sorts of things. Um, and it did mean while I had flu that actually there were temptation foods around that were easy to eat. So actually, funnily enough, him recommitting to this change of eating is going to make it easier for me with the method um, because there won't be temptation in the, in the house. Um, so yeah, I hadn't realised, I hadn't thought about that till I just uh, uh, put that one up. Um, five, support and motivation. Um, I am noticing an effect with not having my weekly TRE uh, and I think my weekly counselling session uh, with Marisa. Again, uh, we get out of the routine uh, and we notice the benefits of these things. Um, my, I feel like I've kind of got a bit of a, a support boost with my husband uh, saying he wants to go back onto this uh, eating plan in order to, to, to lose the stomach. Um, and the motivation, I am reading... Uh, my motivation um, uh, affirmations, if you like, uh, each morning, which again is helping. Um, just taking five minutes in the morning to go, what is, what is my goal? When is my goal? Uh, how am I going to reward myself? Um, so yes, I now need to lose two pounds to reward myself with a manicure. Um, so the motivation is daily actually, self-motivation, um, the support, uh, which hopefully means that, um, you know, the, the, the feeling of lack of, not lack, is I don't feel a lack of support because I'm supporting myself, but the boost, boosted support um, from the TRE and the counselling, uh, that, that will be back in two weeks time anyway. Um, five, so the sixth success factor uh, planning and routine after I've recorded this while I'm uploading it I will plan my meals for the for the week uh, and as I've mentioned already uh, the routine of going to the gym on a Monday Wednesday Friday um, is is back yay um, and so that will make a, a, a huge difference a huge difference just for those feel-good hormones of doing exercise um, you know never underestimate um, never underestimate those hormones. They're good. They are good. Oh, and then finally, um, the gratitude success perspective. Okay, uh, gratitude. I am grateful uh, for where I am. I'm grateful um, that uh, my husband has been di diagnosed with this problem with his hand uh, because it gives us a chance to plan ahead rather than having an emergency response, if you like, and him not being able to work overnight. Uh, at least we've got a little bit of warning. Um, successes, I've lost seven and a half stone. Um, so <laughs> I almost need to use that. I almost need to make sure I don't use that as an excuse for not losing more. That's what it feels like it could become. Oh, but I've lost seven and a half stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I actually need to lose 10 in total. So. It's a success, but there's more success to come. We need to make that success bubble bigger. 
uh, um, and perspective. It's 0.8 of a pound. It's not even a pound that I put on this week. So let's get this in perspective. Um, yes, my target this week, what did I say, five pounds? That's quite a lot. Um, but when I started, uh, when I started this journey, I, I lost five, six, seven pounds a week. Um, I know, so I know it is doable. Um, if I keep doing all the right things, um, and funnily enough, having broken down how much I need to lose each week last week, so by saying three and a quarter pounds each week, I feel as if I've now got something to kind of latch onto. That's where I'm headed, losing five pounds this week. Um, which on the one hand is kind of like, gosh, that's quite a lot. But of the other hand, it's also, yeah, but that's a tangible. I need to see five pounds loss on the scales. So in a way, whereas before it's just like, I need to loss, I want to loss. Um, now it is very specific and tangible. So that's my goal for this week. What's your goal for this week? Uh, how much do you want to, to, to lose? Or if you're clearing your physical clutter, how much clutter uh, do you want to clear? Um, are you going to uh, clear one pi little pile? Are you going to uh, clear one little box or bag or container uh, or bin? Uh, try setting yourself a specific, manageable, achievable uh, goal and, and see how you get on. Okay, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you for watching as always. Do keep the sharing and comments coming in. And I shall see you same time, uh, same place next week. Five pounds lighter. Wow, there we go. I've made a commitment to you. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.